This wristwatch is a uh, one-off piece which has taken me about three years to make and 98% um, of the piece has been made in-house. The only components that we are making are the balance spring, main spring, jewels and some of the screws. And um, this is an approach to watchmaking which has developed over my 20, 20 odd years of making. Um, and really it goes back to the days when I was making my second pocket watch and is that piece which I, if you like, learnt all the 25 to 30 different trades which traditionally go back in English watchmaking. These 25 to 30 trades were involved in the production of one piece who would make a dial and he'd make that dial day in day out. You'd have another man who'd just make hands day in day out. So English watchmaking was extremely high, the quality was extremely high and this is a feature that I noticed and for my work what I wanted to do was again bring back these qualities and so for example a dial like this which is made of silver and um, it's engine turned, the dial is made up of seven components and it's either soldered or screwed together. Um, a dial like this will take two weeks to make. It's very, very labour intensive. All the engine turning is done by hand. The numerals are all hand engraved, as are, is the name cartouche. And then what I do is then fill the, um, the engraving with an engine ink and clean the excess off. Making dials to this level is. Um, the reason why I do it is simply because we can always restore this dial and in three, four, even five hundred years time it will be possible to take one of my watches and completely restore it and bring it back to this new condition. And this philosophy is something that goes throughout all my work. Uh, the case has been hand fabricated, this piece, the case took two weeks to make and was fabricated out of three strips of gold which I bent each individual strip into a circle and soldered and then drove into a tapered former. And then we, then I put this curve on simply by mounting in a lathe and turning the excess metal away. So it's a very hands-on approach to watchmaking. The uh, mechanism is um, again completely um, original and um, of my design. We have a grand eight calendar mechanism and also a very traditional English three-quarter plate. It's very, very understated, but made to a very, very high level of uh, quality. I have a flying tourbillon, which is very unusual, particularly in English watchmaking. And um, this is all black polished throughout. We also have the um, coaxial scalement fitted into the um, carriage, which is like the latest escapement technology. Um, on the rest of the movement we have these raised barrel bridges which hide all the winding mechanism. Again as I say the English watchmaking has always been very very understated. 